In this lesson, we are going to create a simple project locally, make it Git enabled, meaning creating the local repository, commit the code locally, and then we would create a remote Git repository, which is in GitHub, and we will push the code from the local repository to the remote repository. Let me start with the project creation, going to file, new, a sample Maven project we are going to create. Clicking on the first option, create a simple project. Click next. Group ID org.git sample. Artifact ID I am giving sample hyphen git hyphen project. Click on finish. The project is created. On the left hand side, I have this source directory under main Java. I'm going to create a package and a class inside that. New, other, class. Just naming it sample class. I'm providing a package over here, awk.git sample. Let me generate the code also just for main, click on finish. So we have a skeletal code over here. Now I want to make this project Git enabled. For that, right click, theme, share project. Select this checkbox, although it's not a recommended option for demo purpose, I'm doing it. Clicking on this use or create repository in parent folder of project. Click on create repository, click finish. Now we can see all these folders and files have this question mark icon because those are uncommitted. Only this source folder and the pom.xml file I am going to add to index and then commit. Rest of the files and folders would be ignored. So I can select the rest, right click, team, select ignore and now I am going to commit this too. Now before doing that, let me first open few necessary views over here to have some clarity. Window, show view other type git select git repositories and git staging click open let me resize this a bit i see the git repository has come here i just want it to be just beside the git staging let me drag it okay not good i need to bring it down now it's okay if i expand i have the branches local remote tracking both blank if i expand references head in my walking tree I have all these folders. Under git staging, these two are the unstaged changes. So what I can do from here also, I can just right click, team, add to index. So it has become stage changes from unstaged. Another view I want to open, let me go to window, show view, other, type HIS for history, click open. Now history is not showing anything. I need to select my repository. So here you can click, it's showing our sample git project. Now if you select, it's still blank because we don't have any commit yet. Anyways, going to git staging, adding a commit passage, click on commit. Now if I click on history, I can see this is the first commit from local. So, so far what we have done, we have created a local project and from that we have created a local repository and there we have committed the code. This is where we are. Now I want to commit this into a remote repository. For that I need a remote repository first. So let me copy this name. Let me go inside my GitHub account, click over here, my repositories, click on new, provide a repository name, keeping it public, click on create repository. Now this remote repository is created, copying the URL from here, going back to Eclipse, click on Git repositories. Now here we need to focus. Right now under local, I can see my master branch. Under remote, there is nothing. Let me minimize this. Just below references, we have this remotes. Here I need to right click, create remote. By default, it has taken the name origin. Configure push is selected, click on create. Under configure push, you can see it is telling, please provide at least one URI. Click on change. I have copied the URL, hence it has populated the URI host repository path. And here I have the user. Make sure you are using personal access token instead of your account password. Otherwise it would be asking the password multiple times and you would face issue. And you have to store it in secure store. I have already done this. In case you need to store this PAT or personal access token, first time when you try to store it, it would provide you a screen where there would be options for questions and answers. If you provide those and save them, it would work fine. Coming back to the topic that we were discussing, we have the location related details, connection related details, authentication, clicking on finish. Now we need to click under advanced. Here to configure push, we need to add 
pushref specifications. For that, click on all branches. You can see one entry is added. Click on all tags. Another entry is added. Click finish. Now we can save it and push from here on the left section or we can do a direct save and push. Let me try save and push. Push to sample git project origin meaning in the remote project it is pushed. Clicking on close. Going back to my browser, this is my remote repository. Let me refresh. Now I can see my source directory and pom.xml both are committed to the remote repository. Going back to IntelliJ IDEA, here ideally under branches I have the local but I have pushed it to the remote. This remote tracking should be populated. That is the ideal case. But there are scenarios when we see this remote tracking is not populated properly. So one thing we can check over here if I minimize this under remotes I have origin and under origin we have two configurations. This one is for fetch and this one is for push. If I select this and right click and go to configure push I can see I have the push URIs and the associated reference mappings meaning this is configured. I don't need to save or push because it is already configured. If I go under this one, which is for fetch, let me right click. Click on configure fetch. You can see we don't have anything. We need to configure the fetch for remote origin. So click on change. By default, this URI would be selected. Click finish. Click advanced. Here you can see this is all blank. Same way, click on all branches, all tags. Now here you can see it is referring to the remote repository. Click finish. Click save. Now for test purpose, what we can do from here or from here, just right click. Do a fetch from origin. It has fetched, although there is no update. Let me click on close. Go to branches. Now you can see the remote tracking. This one is populated. Just to check whether the fetch is working properly or not, I'm going to my remote repository and edit something inside this Java class. Click on edit, add some sample line, commit changes, click commit changes again. Now I have some commit in the remote. Going back here in Eclipse, fetch would only update the metadata. I just want to pull, right click, team, click on pull. This is fetch result. This is update result. Click on close. I can see the change has come over here. So with these steps, my remote tracking is populated properly. My pull is working. My push and fetch both are working as expected.